What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new reaction. Hey, if you ain't hungry, you're about to be after this video because today we're watching traditional English food and what to eat in England. This is by my boy Walter's World. We watched a video like a few days ago on it and his videos are actually pretty good. He talks like really, really fast, but I kind of like it. But today we're talking food, okay? There's like countries out there that when you think of that country, you think of their food. Like, is Italy, is Italy the country? I don't know. I, I'm not a big geography guy, okay? <laughs> but like when you think of Italy, you think of Italian food. Uh, me, when I think of like India, I think of Indian food. When I think of Mexico, I think of Mexican food. The UK, not so much. You know, I think of other stuff first before I think of UK cuisine. English is tough. Cuisine, there we go. <laughs> the one food I think of when I think about the UK is your chocolate. Your chocolate is so damn good. Like, your chocolate's so good, ever since I've tried it, it spoilt me, and I don't like American chocolate now. Like, whenever I eat, like, a Hershey bar, bro, I want to throw up. But hopefully, old Walter can put us on to some good dishes. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite food down in the comments. I'll give y'all a little sneak peek. I want to do a video where I eat only UK foods for 24 hours. So y'all drop some of your favorite dishes down in the comments, and I'll come back to this and look through and to find some stuff that I'll eat. But for now, we're going to see what old Walter's got to say. Let's get into it. Hello there, fellow hungry travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. And hey, Mark. today we are in London, England, and we're having a good time and actually eating some good food. Who knew it was possible? And so what I'm gonna to talk to you today about is- Hey, that Doctor Who shirt, that's fire. What that's you should fire. eat when you do come to England, because there actually are some good foods here. I know I've made fun of English food in a lot of my videos, and a lot of travelers will say how bad the food can be. And believe me, there's bad food here, but there's also some good foods. So we're gonna go through Hell, the foods food you should everywhere. have when you're here. And let's start with breakfast. Obviously, the big thing you want to have when you are here is you want to have a full English breakfast. Yeah. Now, what does that entail? Well, you got a couple fried eggs. You've got, yes, baked beans. Bro, beans for breakfast is, is crazy to me. It's crazy to me, bro. I don't, I don't really like beans anyways, but like for breakfast... Now, I know that's like, it's, a, it's in a traditional English breakfast, so it's like common, but bro, it's crazy to me. <laughs> you got fried tomato, or yeah, fried tomatoes, cooked tomatoes, Ooh. maybe fried mushrooms. You're gonna Ooh. have a big banger uh, sausage. You also have some English bacon. Um, and then of course you have toast and maybe some hash brown on the side, and you finish it off with some tea. That is your traditional English breakfast. That's what you're going for. And if you're gonna stay in a beach. Somebody, I think I've heard black pudding, it popped up on the screen. Black pudding, it's like illegal here, ain't it? Like something that's made out of like you can't even sell in the U.S. I'm pretty sure that's that's right. Y'all let me know down in the comments if that's right or not. B&B throughout England, they're going to give it to you. Don't worry. It is one of the quintessential things here. If you're staying at more of a kind of an intercontinental hotel, something like that, that has the, the breakfast buffet, they'll have Ooh. variations of that you can do. But maybe go out to a, a, a breakfast place here in England and have your English breakfast. You'll see it on the menus all over the place. Make sure you do have that. Now, if you're looking at the have things during the day, some of the foods you want to have, and when you're going to go out to eat, there's tons of restaurants here but what I recommend is going to the pub because the pub is really a part of English culture and a lot of them will have food oh that said the Big Ben burger oh I bet that's fire I bet now, that's the thing fire. is you got to look and see because not every pub will serve food throughout the day some maybe only have it for lunch and then dinner later in the huh. day so make sure you check and ask and a lot will say oh we have a full menu all day long okay now some of the food you want to have when you are here obviously there's traditional fish and chips you know fried big old fish and french fries with yeah. mushy peas that is a traditional dish here now if you get Wait a, a minute. mushy peas i've never heard of mushy peas I didn't know that was like even included in the fish and chips. I thought it was just fish and, and chips. Well, so go get it from a chippy. That is a like takeaway store that literally just sells fish and chips. Ooh. But if you can't find one because you're in a tourist area and they're mostly not there, they're more farther out. What you want to do is just get it at the local pub. It won't be as good, but it'll still be good enough and you'll enjoy that. I feel like fish is like a very slept on food in America. Like I know a lot of people eat it, but like I feel like a lot of people will eat like chicken or burger before they eat fish. But like fish is slept on bro, come on now. Another English dish you should have, bangers and mash. These are English sausages and mashed potatoes. So bangers or sausages, they were bangers because they used to have water and they explode if they got cooked too much. So bangers and mash, huh? that's another traditional dish you can get. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all got exploding sausages? <laughs> Yo. 
Those, those look fire though. Another thing you have, shepherd's pie, which is kind of minced meat and kind of a, I guess a gravy oh, yeah. and some vegetables in it. And then they have then mashed potatoes on top. That's always a good choice. Um, other things you might want to have when you're here are the pies. That is my favorite. The pies are what kind of changed me from not liking to eat in England to loving eating in England. And the pies, steak and kidney pie is the most popular one. Now what it is, is sometimes it'll be steak and kidney kind of stew, and then they'll have a puff pastry over top, or sometimes, yes, it is kind of like back in America where you have your Stouffer's pot pie, or your, your, those kind of things. They that do looks have fire, those, and It's fantastic, and it could be steak and kidney pie, or a pork pie, or chicken pie with mushrooms, and all kinds of chicken stuff, pie. but you will have those. That's another option that's worth having. Now, if you're looking for something a bit fancier, what you might see is on Sundays in the pubs and other places, they'll have a Sunday roast, which is a roast with Yorkshire pudding, and Yorkshire pudding, I guess it's kind of like, if you've ever had a popover, it's like a filled out popover. It is really tasty. And of course the roast is always good and it can be beef and other meats as well. Hell, they just, they caught that fish, threw it on the burner for like three minutes and put it on the plate. That thing was still flopping. That is a really popular thing on Sundays, kind of a Sunday tradition. Another really fancy thing is beef wellington, which oh, is yeah, I've heard a of medallion that. of beef, and then they put like a pate around it, and then of course puff pastry. You see a theme with this puff pastry stuff? Hey. Around there, and then they cook it. It is fantastic, but it is a little pricey when you do have it, but it is worth every single- It day. literally sounds fancy. I would like a beef wellington. <laughs> that sounds like a fancy dish. Pound. And then if you look at some other British staples you want to have, uh, you might look at, you know, steak is very popular here. The beef in England is very good. Also, what you might be looking at is having jacket potatoes or baked potatoes. And what they'll do is instead of like in the US where you have your baked potato and you get like, you know, sour cream and butter. Here they'll deck bacon it out bits. with bacon and all oh, kinds yeah. of other stuff, which is fantastic. And it's a meal in of itself, okay? So you'll be fine with any of the steaks or jacket potatoes, baked potatoes, they're good too. But what about some of the, the sweets you might want to have when you're here? Oh gosh, One oh gosh, here we go. I, I was already getting hungry. Now we're talking sweets, all right. <clears throat> Let me buckle in. All right, Mark, what's up? Thing I gotta tell you, first things first, the chocolates here in England are awesome. Get your Cadbury chocolate here. Because the Cadbury you get in the US, Ooh. that ain't the real deal. The stuff here, I don't know, maybe yeah. it's the milk or how they produce it. It's so much richer here. It's so much fuller flavored and extra, you know. Been saying this, Mark. Been saying this. The chocolate is fire. Like, I don't know. It's it's so good. It really is. Children jumping around on the walls, inducing sugariness, <laughs> but not with a lot of sugar. I don't know. <laughs> not just children, 20-year-old men too. <laughs> it's just really one of those things you have to have when you are here. So if you're going by the shop, go grab a bar of Cadbury and you know, or two or three, or like I did, buy a box for the kids or that you might share with them or might not share with them. Who the knows? Whole stock. There's that there. Other sweets you might have. They have a lot of puddings that are popular. Um, one thing I would say if you're looking for a, a, like an apple pie kind of thing, there's apple crumble that's really good. Ooh. And one of the things is you have a lot of pastries you can have here, and a lot of pastries you'll have at tea time. And high tea is at four o'clock. And high tea isn't just tea, okay? You'll have scones and you'll have scones with clotted cream and jam and you'll have crumpets. If you're not sure what a crumpet is, in the US we call it English muffin. They just chop the top off. That's a crumpet. You'll have that hey, little tea. Hey, English muffins in the mornings with just bacon. I mean like half a pound of bacon smacked on to them. That's like, that's not like the most American thing I've ever said, but <laughs> about, about half a pound of bacon on those and then put some cheese. Mm. Ooh, bony apple feet. Ooh. These sandwiches, little finger sandwiches, those kind of things like that. It is kind of a really cool experience to go have tea. I mean, I, I first time I wouldn't have tea, I was like 21 and I was like, oh dude, I want to be going to the, pu the pub and having some pints. But it was a really cool experience. We were in York and you know, the, the there's a street where the buildings are almost touching each other at the top. Oh, it was yeah. a really cool experience. Oh yeah. What, no, when I go, oh, we're drinking tea and I'm going to put my pinky up and everything. I'm going to be, what's that? Uh, have, have etiquette. I'm going to have really nice etiquette. I'm, Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, the whole night. <laughs> have it, so make sure you do have tea time when you are here in England because it is an experience oh, yeah. and you will enjoy the, the cakes and the crumpets and the scones and the clotted cream and oh god. <laughs> see, you see how I'm talking, how the food can be good here? You're starting to get hungry, aren't you? And that's something hungry. where you're gonna drink when you're here. Tap water, you can drink, but it tastes pretty gross, so go with bottled water. Hell, that's that's um, everywhere, bro. Everywhere. I, I've lived in this house for almost a year. Never once, never once, have I got a glass 
and filled it up with tap water and drank it. Hell no, ne never, bro. It's it's these till I die. <laughs> the, the drink here of choice is obviously tea. It's England, you have tea. But for my Starbucks people that have to have their coffees, they've got that too. But here, tea is the drink you have in the morning. Or in what about a nice cold Mountain Dew? Y'all got Mountain Dew over here? You got to. <laughs> the afternoon or when you want to calm your nerves or up your nerves or anything like that. And if you're going out to the pub, you're going to have a pint of beer. And they have their oh, yeah. ales, they have their porters. And the thing is, you'll get beer from all over. Um, but one of the things... I thought somebody was in my house. Just <laughs> you get the ales from England, and they'll literally, it's, they like pump it out. It's not like in the U.S. where you just click it and the pressure pushes it through. They're like pumping it through the system kind of thing, huh. which is pretty That's cool. That's pretty cool. Is the beer ice cold? No, it's not ice cold beer, but it's like a little bit cooler than room temperature, so that's nice. And there are some good ones. I've never been a huge fan of the ales and the porters, but for some reason, the last couple of years, I've been trying more and more of them, and they really do grow on you. So make sure you switch it up if you're doing your pub crawl. Try a different beer every time you go someplace. Because oh yeah, I I would I just want to like go through like all the different pubs, like hit as many as I can because I'm only 20. So here in America, I've never drank any alcohol before. Okay, <laughs> so I want to go when I go over there. I want to try it all. Bro. It gives you a chance to try a different ale or a different porter or stuff like that, or an extra stout beer, and it is kind of a cool thing. Um, other things you might want to know when you are here, um, if you ask for lemonade here, you're going to get kind of like a, a Sprite kind of drink. And the thing Ooh. is, you can get all the international beverages you want here. So if you want your sodas or your beers or whatever, it's not a problem. But tea and ales and porters, that's kind of the big thing when you are here. Yeah. Uh, and bottled water, take my word for it. Um, another thing you should know is when you go out to restaurants here, um, you do tip about 10% on a bill if they're bringing it to your seat. If they're not bringing it to your seat, it's not as, you don't really have to tip. You're like you go to a chippy and stuff like that, there's no tipping. They might have a bucket up front, you can leave some money there. When you go to a pub. I feel like that's gonna be pretty controversial. <laughs> like I know, I know y'all don't like, cause I understand, cause like the, the tipping thing here in America, it seems like it's like mandatory. But like when I go, only if the service is really, really good, that's when I tip. Like today we went out to get some, uh, some pizza and we sat down and we ate and look, the lady she was nice she was on time she got her food quick she was refilling drinks and all of that so she got a tip but like if i go and you don't talk to me after i put my order in bro you ain't getting no tips so like i feel like that's the same way over in the uk too tipping you don't really have to tip when you buy a drink and if you're doing a pub crawl you're going one-to-one -one. you can tip but you don't have to they're not really expecting it at the pub but if you do you and no one's gonna say no to money. Anyway, Bye. I hope this helped you know of a few of the foods you should try when you do come here to England. There are some good things out here. And the thing is, there's the English food, but remember, this is an international country, so you can get great food from all over the world. There's great Indian food, there's great Chinese yeah. food, there's great all kinds of food here. So don't limit yourself just to the pub. Get out and explore more. But I've given you kind of the English pub version of what to eat when you are here in England. Well, damn. I'm about to fly to the UK right now just to get some damn fish and chips. Gee, <laughs> that, that made me hungry as hell. <laughs> but all right, guys, that is it for traditional English foods and what to eat in England. Like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think. And let me know some of your favorite foods down in the comments. Like I said, I'll come back to this video and read some of y'all suggestions whenever I go to make that one video. So let me know some of your favorite food. And if y'all are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100K once we do me a UK theme tattoo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure I go out today. Spread love, spread kindness. Do something nice on my day. I love you guys so much. I really do. Shut your ass. I'm out. Peace. I'm about to go shove my face. Let's go.